Hey, and welcome to Demo Days. Today we have a fun little game called Nevergrave, the Witch and the Curse to try. Um, we're gonna give it a shot after I fix this resolution. Uh, I think everything else is fine, so yeah. Let's go, start a new file. I think this is a Metroidvania, uh, maybe? Oh, I'm a falling hat. <laughs> so X possess, right trigger dodge, easy peasy. Looks good already. Possess. So relinquish, why repossess, dodge. So you can't dodge when you're in the air. You can only dodge in the ground, on the ground. Uh, so relinquish here, summon, oh weird, okay. Okay. It's just water falling. Yeah. Okay. I know how these games work. Uh, dodge. Secret, secret, no secret. Look around. Oh, okay. Can I swim? I can, okay. This is a secret. Ruby of Vitality. Increases your maximum HP uh, capacity. Effect disappears upon leaving the dungeon. Okay. So temporary. Oh. Where does this go? Ooh. Oh, and that just brings me back. Okay, one second. So we want to go down. Let's open this bad boy up. Durable material used for architecture often found in the ruins. Okay, cool. I'm assuming we did that because we can't go back that way. So, let's keep going. Kill more of these weird hands. Oh, that hurt, okay. So touching enemies hurts you. It's not one of those games where, uh, where you're allowed to touch. Cause some games you can touch them as long as they don't you don't get hit by their attack, you're fine. Uh acquire skill spirit shot. Fires a straight magic bullet. So that's why. Okay, cool. Money that was used in the kingdom long ago. Oops. Didn't mean to kill you, sorry. What's down here? What is this? Nothing? Okay, this just resets you if you fall. Uh, you can recover a small amount of MP by hitting enemies. Oh, yeah. And then healing delight. Recover 70% of HP, a sweetness usually found in dreams. Okay. Nice timber.
basic combat moves. Try dodging to move behind an enemy. And use X as a basic attack from behind. Okay, so dodge. Mess him up. Classic of video game. Dodge. Mess him up. Oh boy. Alright, easy peasy. Oh. <laughs> I thought it maybe if you hit each of them. Crimson Ray Guardian. Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. Mess him up before he can do anything. I wasn't sure if he would have a... Cool. Easy. Oh, on the swipe back, he also hits you. Good to know. Ah, oh, that looks bad. Oh man, this is rough. Damn! I barely even damaged him. Okay. Oh my lord. Ah, hello. This church is the only one that was spared from the destruction. Ah, hello. Okay. You didn't try entering the ruins, did you? Do you have any injuries? Go to Botanic Gardens First Slayer, go to Institute First Slayer. Huh. I'm so hungry. Oh, greetings. It seems like you've been through a lot. In case of emergency, use this potion. May God bless you. Small potion. Bottle filled with red liquid. Recovers HP when used. Cannot be used when HP is full. You can enter the ruins first later to your lair to your right. The exit near the altar leads to the village. The village might provide something useful for your endeavors. Where did you come from? Maybe it's best that I don't ask. Okay, so ruins first later, and then volcano first later. So there's four worlds and a village, whatever the hell I guess this church is. Let's see. Hello. What should I do? The whole village lies in shambles. We cannot even try to rebuild without with so much rubble in the way. Easy. Let me just solve all your problems here. Okay, so are you like building a town and it's a metroidvania? Is it a metroidvania? It might not be a metroidvania. What should I do? Oh, I cleared the rebel, but I guess not enough. This village was destroyed in the midst of battle. First of all, we have to deal with the rubble. Okay, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You know, I'm not the only one with a sword here. All the rubble's gone, yay! Thanks to you, the debris has been taken care of. A small token of guard gratitude. Please take it. Yeah, I'll take some money. Let me go and talk to this lady. Now the village looks ready to start over. I found these materials in the rubble. Please take them. Nice. You know, I think you'd be great at building. <laughs> you, what, what does that mean? What about me makes me look, makes you think I would be good at building? Can you try to place a soil block? Open the terrain menu. Oh wow, wait, what? Uh, uh oh. I clicked the build button, it's telling me. Okay, maybe build. Terrain, there we go. Okay. You already set up a soil block. If you can do this, maybe we can dream of rebuilding the village. Is this. Okay. Let's, uh. The real work of rebuilding the village starts now. Every extra hand helps. Looks like you tried your hand at building. Great. If you set up a research facility, you can spend money on researching new buildings and skills. Try building one. Okay, so... Oh, whoops. I went to the church. Also, where is this church? Um, so, research facility. Uh... 
Oh. Hey there. I was originally an inventor in the court. I've always loved making new things. Anyway, let's research floating sword right away. If we research it, you'll be able to use it as well. I don't know if you know this, I already have a floating sword. <laughs> Summon one magical sword. Okay. Floating sword is now unlocked. Now you'll be able to find floating sword in the dungeons. Ah, okay. By the way, I brought a blueprint for the combat monument uh, from the court. I'll give it to you. Why don't we research the blueprint and combat mon monument I gave you? Please use it. I'm sure you'll get stronger. Okay. Research on the combat monument is complete. You know, the blueprint does nothing by itself. You have to actually build a facility. What shall we make today? All right. So now if I go here and make a combat monument, open the combat, oh, okay. So it's like a little skill tree. The damage basically increased by 10%. Increases the damage of basic attack by zero plus forty percent when enemies are facing against you, facing against you, facing away from you. I assume MP recovered when hitting the enemy. Basic attack increases. Okay. Okay. Do you have anything else? No. And then. Weird, why would I build, why would I do terrain though? I'm sure there's a reason. Hey, that monument, it is said that it will grant you strength in exchange for offerings. From the church, take the door to the ruins first layer. If anyone can survive the dungeons, that's you. Okay. How was the village? Well, I don't know if I can be called a village now. If you strengthen yourself using the combat monument, maybe you can explore the ruins, but be careful. All right, let's go give it another shot with our newfound power. Always check left. Let's see. Floating sword. All right. So. Yeah, animations are good. Um, sorry, sorry, trying to focus. Animations good. Uh, enemies are weird, which is good. Music is very like <laughs> it reminds me of like. I don't know, old Final Fantasy music or something? I don't know, it's just like very ambient and background. Take Grimoire, so we can get a yellow Grimoire. Critical rates for all moves increase by 5%. Uh, white Grimoire increases damage by 15% when your HP is more than 60. Okay. Increases MP recovery by spec by 2%. Let's do this damage by 15%. That's pretty good. Portal. Uh, I don't know if I want to use that yet. Let's just take a look around first, you know what I'm saying? Look at all this juicy loot I would have missed if I just went through a portal. I might be able to just come right back through that portal. I have no idea, actually. Ooh. More health. So it gives me two more HP. So they're currently bleeding, I think. Right? I don't know what that red thing is that my magical sword did. Ow. Huh. I wonder if this portal just brings me back to where I the other portal was. Oh! Oh wow, that killed me! 
brutal. <laughs> hey, this is a very unforgiving game. Alright, let's talk to her. Seems like you passed out the roads. Why not ask villagers for guidance? The village might provide something useful for your endeavors. Uh, so this. Okay. So you went to the ruins a couple times. I found a blueprint for the survival monument. I'll give it to you. Survival monument, monument you can last longer in the dungeon. Okay. Use both combat and the survival monuments and you'll become much stronger. What shall we make today? Okay. Maybe that's... Maybe this will help. That, I mean, there are games like this that are like, you know, one mistake and you die. It's just... Challenging. Okay, I need money. Alright, let's do one more run in the ruins and then I think we're good. I think I understand what's going on here. It's good. Well done. Um... Some choices, like I like being able to dodge in air, and you can't, uh, but that's fine. I mean, that's, that's a minor thing. All these games do it differently. Um, but yeah, I like the, I like the, I like what's going on here. There's four worlds from what I can tell. Combat, like, it, it, hitting hitting enemies feels good in this game. All right, we're gonna just use the portal this time. Oh, you need to activate the other portal, I see. What's going on down here? Where are we going? Okay. This is very far. Receive blessing. Don't mind if I do. So debilitation multiples of the dur mul multiplies the duration of status ailments of enemies by two. Um, electrifying counter when damaged by an attacking enemy, lightning strikes them by. I don't. Okay. Increases movement speed when running. All right. Let's do this. The, the one where, like, you, um, they get hurt when they hurt you, I typically don't like those as much, because, uh, it means you have to, <laughs> you have to get damaged, right? Um, but you typically want to avoid, okay, so it's just choose the portal you want to go to, that's nice. Take Grimoire. So it increases damage to enemies with full HP. Recovers HP when acquiring Grimoire or Blessing. If your HP is 40 or less, increases MP recovery. Let's do this. I should use my spells more. Ow. Yeah, the other thing, getting hit when you just touch an enemy is a little... Uh, fire strike. Okay, yeah. So Y and B. So we'll wait for him to come here and turn around. I much prefer like only getting damage when an enemy actually makes an attack against you. Ooh, spirit shot. Wait. New. Okay, so let's replace Spirit Shot level 1. So now we have Spirit Shot level 2. Nice. Alright, we need to heal a little bit. Okay, that gives us health, but it doesn't heal us. So that's a problem. This thing up here really quick. A grimoire inflicts 15 bleeding to enemies with spell attack. Reduces the MP cost of spell attack. Okay, inflict cold to an enemy when it let's do this bleeding.
I think that means all my spells will now inflict bleed. Ooh, what's going on here? Yeah, give me some of that lumber. Can I? Oh, stone, yes. I need to keep in mind there's resources to be gathered here. This is a survival game, baby. chance of healing here. Oh, look at that seahorse. Weird. What is this for? Oh. Alright, let's quickly go check down here. Right. Could be another... Oh, there's a lot going on down here, too. down there. Alright, I can't shoot my spell down. Easy. Alright. Need to be cautious. It looks like he just poops out. Ah! Oh no, he backed up. Okay, we're good. Let's say it looks like he just poops out bombs, but he also aggressively goes for you. <laughs> Uh, let's go down here in the bottom right, just make sure there's nothing. Oh! Damn, dude! Yeah, that is brutal. <laughs> A new upgrade is available at Monument. Alright, let's go check that out. Go to village. Survival. Increases maximum HP by 10. Okay. So yeah, we're up to 60. That would help. It would like give me one more hit that I can take. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's just get rid of the weeds here, like my poor Animal Crossing village that I haven't seen in like three years. I'm sure that entire town has been fully weeded. Cool! Alright. I like it. I like the art style. I like that this is so like warm and nice and then the dungeons are so cold and like, you know, blue and like menacing. Um, definitely a vibe shift. <laughs> But yeah, I, I like this. I like these weird little characters, like this little inventor guy. I like his goggles. Um, this game is Never Myth. Am I right? Never Myth? Never Grave. <laughs> Close. Never Grave, The Witch and the Curse. Uh, looks like it's kind of like a... I mean, it's a roguelike, right? It's a roguelike with, uh, with like a town building aspect. Um, it's, it's neat. I, the, the, the combat's fine. I, I like the, the, the crunchiness of, uh, landing hits is good. The, uh, the art style is good. The, the music's a little like background-ish, which, which is fine. Like that's, that's probably an intentional design choice. Um, I, you know, uh, speaking of intentional design choices, not being able to dodge when in the air is, is something I don't like, but it happens. And it looks like this is a multiplayer one. So, you know, it's not available for the demo, but if you have a friend, uh, that you like playing this type of game with, you know, this could be a good option. Uh, overall pretty good. I, I like it. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah. I mean, no, yeah. The, the environment and enemy styles are good. Uh, the enemy variety seems good. Even that first section, just dying and retrying. We saw like the the hand. We saw the weird leech, flying leech thing. We saw the the 
the pooping, glowing slug thing. You know, there's, there's a few options there already immediately. The bow guy, the sword guy, or axe guy, I guess. So yeah, if you're interested, give it a try. Wishlist on Steam, and uh, you know, I think, um, I forgot, I, I didn't see when, when it's coming out, but let's see, do they say? Let's quickly check. It's to be announced, we do not know. But, uh, let's see. Yeah. They, yeah, so they're gonna do 100 combinations of randomly generated dungeons, 20 skills and items, 30 traits that change the performance of skills and items, 15 blessings, buffing effect, change the style of play, several artifacts, player growth system through building facilities in the villages. Yeah, seems pretty, um, pretty big for indie. Uh, a big swing for an indie studio, you know, and it, it seems like it's doing it's doing what it's setting out to do. So thanks for joining me on this demo days with Nevergrave and uh, have a good day. Bye.